got uh, Chunky Kong fighting uh, BMM 40-40-40. So yeah, BMM opting for Robin. I like this pick already off the cuff. I think honestly both the BMM's characters have a fantastic spread against uh, Donkey Kong, being a character with not the most favorable matchup spread in the entire game. But uh, mm -hmm. in fact, I think this might be better for Chunky Kong. Uh, because Robin is a little bit bigger, you can clap her recovery a little bit easily, and you can also do things like that to her, Dara. You can also do things like grab up throw up air to Dude. take stocks. Hell early. Fantastic zero to death. I Coming looked away for the second. I looked away for the second, and Chunky Kong was able to find that zero to death. Um, I will say, like, once again on paper, Robin and Pichu, like, that is a character that can play keep away, and that is a character that can blend Donkey Kong respectably. So on paper, BMM should be really favored here, but not able to punish the getup attack timing. That was an interesting choice from... Oh, my. Uh-oh. All right. Just got the ledge trap set up here. All right, good patience right there. Still has stage control. You know, even if he backed off and did that, he still has not lost the ledge yet. Mm -hmm. But BMM managing to sneak on by with that back air right there. Oh boy. Yeah, both of them are right now playing so patiently, able to find that down to go up there. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh, that was really, really smart from BM. Yeah, don't don't wait to just ledge trap right there. Go for it. That being said though, that up be super, super powerful. A Chunky Kong up three stocks to one right now in BMM. This mm -hmm. is I don't know why people take Chunky Kong to this stage. Because yeah, it's good, but you can also die off the top pretty early. To, yeah, uh, Chunky Kong just seems so comfortable maneuvering around the stage, is able to bait that uh, air dodge, was able to pressure uh, with the position, but BMM is going to be able to get back onto the stage and find that uh, arc fire back here. So really good stuff to them, but once again, finding themselves in a similar position. How do they get back on? Just like that, yeah, the Robin classic, just ledge hop forward air. Her ledge hop forward air is honestly fantastic. And it's an option I see <laughs> a lot of Robin players use as well when Robin has Levin Sword on deck. And now this is tricky for Chunky because now he has to find some way to break center stage control against uh, Robin, who also has fantastic zoning tools in her uh, in her spells. Mm -hmm. Ooh, dashing back <laughs> has the right idea with punishing the directional air dodge, but BMM was still able to just barely get past it. Keeps trying to go through these drop down double jump aerials, and honestly, despite the fact that all of them have whiffed, I don't mind it. Why? Because Chunky Kong keeps on repositioning himself oh to be my. able to ledge trap, but that time going so deep, meeting BMM halfway and finds that kill. About as deep as Donkey Kong can go, honestly. That was a great rising back air right there. Just call out the L win. Thing, uh, thing about Robin as well is her recovery is susceptible to getting hit from up because she only has a hitbox. Her hitbox only goes down when she's throwing out that stuff. So you should mm -hmm. definitely jump off stage. Just try to edge guard her whenever you can. If it's if you know if you're not under mm -hmm. her. If you're not putting yourself in a risky position, it, it, it'll it'll pay off really, really nicely for you, just like it did for Chunky Kong this game one. Yep, you gotta go down there, you gotta track her, and then you just gotta be able to stay to the side of her. As long as you can cling to the side, Robin does not have any fast buttons in that scenario that would be able to get her out, um, especially if she does need to be recovering from low. So that was just really good stuff from Chunky Kong. That game, you'll be able to find a lot of early stock, a lot of chase downs um, we as go. well. And we got the baby back online once again. I, li I like how BMM has been leading off these sets with Robin just to feel it out as sort of a litmus test, but then going with the tried and true Pichu uh, afterwards. And we, we, this might be a little bit more difficult for Chunky Kong because, you know, Pichu, mm -hmm. very quick, very small, a little harder to hit. And uh, Donkey Kong being, you know, obviously the, the, the tried and true cliche of being combo food, but it's true. Pichu has got is a very combo oriented character and... Uh, <laughs> Donkey Kong is susceptible to getting kind of schmixed on, so... Yeah, I mean, right now, Donkey Kong, that's that's the banana and Pichu is the blender. You know, we got, we got a banana smoothie inbound, my friend. This is exactly what Pichu does, just able to link so many hits into other ones. Donkey Kong actually falling out of the foyer, and I'm really surprised that that wasn't the spike hitbox uh, of Down B. I thought that would have been able to confirm into Pichu. I like how BMM has just been using these dashbacks every time, you know, they they get a landing going just to make sure that Chunky Kong can't find his way in. Wow. Excellent job with the F smash right there. Just had a soul read on that spot dodge. And uh, we're going to be seeing potentially a different startup soon. Chunky Kong just trapped on this platform or potentially trying to bait out a grab here. And I think BMM has the right idea, but just trying to zone out the best they can with these Thunder Jolts. Oh, yep. Ooh, that's going to be the up throw, oh. but not going to be able to find the up air Pichu. So light, the percent windows are probably a little bit tighter on that um, as they tend to be. Also, just hella small. Like, you got to really have a lot of precision for that or just get it at an earlier percent where, it, I don't know. I think you're right about the window being definitely a lot smaller. Oh, no. 
so unfortunate ending up on the other side after that quick attack right there just getting clapped by that up I, th I think that was like an intentional cross up because bmm just tried to make themselves as like ambiguous as possible but like chunky kong was you know just like hey i'm gonna sit back i'm gonna be able to react and find that kill oh my i really BMM. like that weight mm -hmm. but bmm a little bit too slow oh no the trip there yeah chunky just taking full advantage of the situations he can get good damage off of <gasps> that was so unfortunate but bmm still in the driver's seat right here Ooh, good stall by chunky kong right there just avoiding these t-jolts yeah really good maneuverability and finds that juggle chunky kong is going to be able to close out that stock now they once again have a lead to the name oh no that oh, did boy. 19 from the ledge oh yeah that felt like it did a lot more than it should have. But you know what? <laughs> it's, it's Donkey Kong at the end of the day. Back here, not going to be able to kill quite yet. Donkey Kong is so heavy. Chunky Kong holding on to oh, his double jump. Wow. wow. And BMM has to be careful at ledge. Not even going to ledge this time, actually. Uh, just opting to go for the edge guard right there. Oh, no. And Donkey Kong just pixels off from being hit right there. But luckily, BMM going to be cleaning it up right there at that dash attack. And Chunky Kong doing pretty well in this matchup, honestly. Not getting comboed or edge guarded too heavily by Pichu. I know Pichu has to be pretty precise, but uh, it can be kind of hard for a character like Donkey Kong to get back out of disadvantage from Pikachu. Or for, for Pichu, rather. Well, that's already, been two, that's already been two trips from BMM. <laughs> no punishes on either. They probably just weren't seeing that one coming. <gasps> Great tech chase using key jolt and therein lies why it might be so difficult for donkey kong sometimes even though he tech rolled in to try to avoid that t-jolt by the time that he was already out and actionable and vulnerable his foot was sticking out oh boy oh my god this has been so stressful right here for both players. We're on last stock. Big hits from either player could really end it. But honestly, I feel like BMM has to get an even bigger hit because 123 ain't nothing for Donkey Kong. He's one of the heaviest characters in this game. Pichu, on the other hand, if you get sneezed on, you're dead. That is no double jump, but again, Chunky Kong. Not going to be getting a hit by uh, the confirm of down B into Pichu himself. Uh, just still keeps on only getting hit by that spike hit. Is this back throw going to give... Uh, I thought that was going to kill for oh a second. Oh my, this could be bad. Was... Hitting the down air, but it's a sour spot one. It doesn't kill. Oh, man. Oh, that's going to be the good grab. This should be the kill. Oh, no. Uh, and uh, BMM feeling like his tag right now. <laughs> his tag is just man. <laughs> man. If he hit that dare, would have worked, but he mistimed it. I think he went a little too late. I think it was too early. I feel like he got the early hit or didn't get the drift correctly. He didn't fast fall it, and therefore he couldn't get the sweet spot of it. Uh, that was so no, tragic. No, there it is. Hold on, hold on. Wait, we need to go back to the other replay, Devin. Can we go back for a second? Uh, the the downer. I want to see that downer one more time. Okay, so I just want to look at this one for a second. You know what happened here? Look at where Pichu is relative to Donkey Kong. Look what look at what part Pichu is actually hitting. That's he started right. too early, I feel like. The left I feel side. Like, it's I the left like... side. Mm -hmm. Because if it was the right side, if Pichu was hitting Donkey Kong with, with Pichu's right side of the head, right? That would have sent to the that would have sent to the right blast zone. That's it wouldn't true, have sent yeah. inwards. He could, there were two ways, there were two out of three ways he could have gotten that kill there from that move, and he got the one mm -hmm. the one move that did not do the killing. It was so tragic. But Chunky going to be thanking his lucky stars and actually going up 2-0 in this set. One more W to just make it into Winterside Grands here to get clip number 15. So, you know, unfortunate for BMM, but for, for Chunky, it's looking good. Yeah, no, Chunky is big chilling right about now. Uh, Chunky is just playing a really good keep away game. I'm going to be honest, I don't know how you make uh, Donkey Kong Pichu actually work through Donkey Kong, but Chunky Kong just making the impossible happen. <sighs> He's just waiting right here. Well, really good patience for both of these players, but what a tech from BMM. It's going to allow them to disengage. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, my, <laughs> indeed. Oh my. BMM, again, with these unfortunate miss faces, just ends up landing right into Chunky Kong's menacing fist. Oh, boy. All right, though, yeah, BMM just trying to exercise a little bit more patience, but Chunky Kong's up. He doesn't got to do anything, really, to... Uh... Look at his lead. To approach just, it, yeah. He's they're chilling. just dash backing and whiff punishing. Dash back, whiff punish. And that's honestly the name of the game. Uh, as soon as you have a lead against the rats and you can make them approach, uh, therein lies, you know, your ability to hold on to the stock. 
And I like the fact that Chunky is facing backwards this entire time in neutral, or at least when he's in these mid ranges against uh, BMM, because he's expecting that cross up from uh, yep. from BMM. The cross ups are what keep these nairs safe on Chunky Kong right here. But Chunky Kong, if he's facing backwards, he can grab, he can punish accordingly, he can do pretty much anything out of it. Ooh, right now that was a really good grab out of the shield. They're able to catch Chunky Kong pressing one too many buttons uh, on BMM though. I feel like they're both just pacing this match so much slower than they normally would. Chunky Kong not going to be able to make it back after that back hill and finally BMM finds that first stock. Ooh, back throw. That's definitely going to kill. Yep, Pichu yep. being hella baby. It it's hard. It's hard. But BMM managing to finally get back into this combo. But Chunky playing this so patiently, just not, you know, overextending whatsoever, letting BMM kind of whiff the punishes here before he just opens up. And that's that's honestly, I feel like what divides these two players right now is, is how patient Chunky's been and how well he's been able to hold on to this lead. Oh, wow, that down B hitbox. You can't, you hit can't cross up. You just can't cross up what, what is uncrossable. Yeah. You can only try to maybe hit Donkey Kong's head in that scenario. Oh, oh no. Too light. Too, too light, small, too big. but I still feel that feel inside of me. How's the good idea? We're trying to cover neutral get up with F smash, but it's a little bit difficult to manage neutral get up. I believe it's only like one frame of vulnerability too before you can even throw out a shield. So nice. Wow. I feel like that's an edge guard that uh, BMM should have been going for at least sometimes. You know, because you do get under uh, DK. He's huge. You can definitely catch that storm cloud, and his recovery is kind of slow too. You know, he ha does have to mm -hmm. war his way back to Sage quite a bit if he's far enough out. And I'm wondering if it was too little too late for BMM to learn this. But got a combo going, calls out the double no jump double really jump. nicely. No. Always living. I don't know why we saw a kill screen for Donkey Kong up tilt. That move was not killing. <laughs> that move was definitely not killing. I was a little bit confused for a second. I love the way that Donkey Kong is just landing so safely. <gasps> BMM is... That could have oh been a jab lock. He might have been able to DI <gasps> that off, but that might be it. Yes, what? BMM clutching it from the depths of okay. hell right there. Great thunder. I would like to talk recovery. about that. I want to talk about that for a second because there's something about that interaction that excites me. It has almost very little to do with what the players were actually doing. <laughs> but the down B sending into, into the freeze frame at this point is because the game thinks that Donkey Kong is getting spiked. Because Donkey Kong's model is just barely off the side of the stage and, and facing to the left or to the right. The game thinks here, hey, Donkey Kong is getting spiked to the blast zone. <laughs> and that's why it plays uh, the kill screen. It does that a lot with a lot of grounded spikes as well. You'll sometimes see that if they like land a spike and it hits the stage and you're like, that's a little bit strange. Why did that happen? And so it does the KO screen and then ends up hitting it to Pichu. Uh, I think that's kind of funny. So that's just something to appreciate about that. <laughs> Another thing I want to appreciate is the fact uh, is BMM's adaptation. Like on the other side of the stage, you saw Chunky recover high and BMM couldn't get the low edge guard. So instead this time he decided to opt for Thunder because he knows that Chunky has been opting to recover high every single time this last, or at least the last few times the last stock. So that was really, really smart on BMM's mm -hmm. part right there. Yeah, that was just like an excellent catch on uh, Chunky oh, Kong's attempt to mix up. <gasps> Oh. That's a good, he's 64% in climbing. Love BMM's choice to go for the shield there. Catching Chunky, pressing buttons out of disadvantage. And this is what Pichu Donkey Kong should be looking a little bit more like. Oh no, but all that work. All that work for Donkey Kong just down B up smash. And it is Pichu, it's light. You know, you do have to work pretty hard, but you get good frame data, safe moves, and uh, the ability to kill your opponent off stage at like zero. Mm -hmm. so, not zero, but pretty early. Donkey Kong's got those kill confirms on deck. Uh, work smarter. Uh, I don't want to say don't work harder, but yeah, work smarter, not harder. Again. No, I it's agree. Not... Work definitely work smarter, not harder. Especially yeah. in Smash. If you can get those stocks earlier with doing less work, definitely go for it. Pick a character that that helps you do that. Mm -hmm. We we do a little we do a little cheating on occasion. Oh yeah. Donkey Oh, I love those who cover the mix of Scream Chunky Kong BMM was just now ready for it. And again, again. those down B up smashes oh, are so man. big. Just like that, within a minute, Chunky Kong is at a three to one stock lead. Down B, down B is the MVP. Look at that mix. Look at that mix. All right, though, FTL, you know, there's still signs of life here for BMM, but man, those two stocks being <gasps> taken out were incredibly unfortunate. Ouch, we've got, now we've got a very angry monkey. 
who can kill Pichu really, really early. I like the stall idea out there from Chunky, but BMM keeping it simple, mm -hmm. just deploying that lingering Nair off right there, and it's gonna take Chunky off the side. BMM's gotta pace this one really gently, and as soon as they do find that opening in, they need to blend Donkey Kong. They need to be able to get those lightning loops, gotta get all those conflicts, gotta be able to get Donkey Kong off stage, because therein lies what makes that matchup so, so good for Pichu. All right, BMM waiting. We're seeing a similar situation to other games in this set where BMM is just kind of waiting for Chunky to overcommit, but Chunky just knows how to play with the lead really, really nicely. He knows that he he shouldn't be overcommitting because if he get if he whiffs on Pichu, that's going to be some big damage he's going to be eating. He's pressing quick, lagless buttons in such a way that BMM is not in a position to actually be able to punish those in time. Oh, this is it. This is going to be big damage. That's going to be stage control. I thought we'd be seeing another down B. Maybe not at that height, because he was in the magnifying glass at that point, which might have been too high to catch. Oh boy, but this is a good situation right here. I love, I love the fact that BMM used double jump Nair right there, just in case Chunky decided to burn double jump. But man, the patience from Chunky off stage also. Really, really smart stuff. Who gets that F to go? Gonna be a bit of stage control for BMM right now. Good chases on Chunky Kong, but Peach is a kill. Oh, wow. And this is, again, We've seen BMM clutch it before. He's at 84%, one down B up smash, or maybe even down B up air. Good <gasps> spell curtains. <gasps> this is an edge guard situation though. Forward air, got the platform Donkey for double jump. No. no way. Okay, okay. Oh no, didn't get to ledge though. Maybe he opted for stage. <gasps> that was so unfortunate. Oh, and Chunky Kong gonna be taking it 3-1 over BMM. Um, wow, almost the reverse three stock from BMM right there. But uh, unfortunately, gonna be set pack into losers. At what place hunt did we kill, see kill spikes for back here on a heavyweight? 62 was the ending damage. I okay, guess. okay. I thought it was a little bit lower, but. No, my bad. It was actually lower. It was like 56 or something. Damn. It, it, it was low, low, though. We were, I'm talking about like 30s, 40s of damage when the initial hits started off stage. So uh, that's uh, pretty early, but it is town, which is one of the easiest stages to kill off the side on. Uh, so if any character can do it, it's definitely Pichu since that back air is so strong. But regardless, Chunky just holding his lead so, so well. BMM coming alive towards the end, but Chunky just knows how to, how to clutch onto it. But um, yeah, so uh, we will actually be speed running right to losers finals right now because uh sem uh did dq i think he said he had to go he was he was gonna go watch the kazuya direct tomorrow at a cousin's house or something like that and he was like i'm happy with my placement i can't wait to see that man beat people up in smash brothers so jake is actually going to be getting launched into losers yeah. finals right there where he'll be fighting